Welcome to the homework for lesson seven. This is module six of first grade. Get your name here first before you get started so you don't forget it later. And we're filling in the missing numbers in the chart up to 120. There's a lot of different names for this kind of problem set. It's uh, You can think of it as a broken number chart. except that this isn't the regular 100 grid that's uh, a 10 by 10 grid. It goes to 120. And you can see as we go across, we have 71, 91, 111. It looks like we're going across by tens. So 71, 81, 91, this would be 101, and then 10 more is 111. And then as we go down, you can see here we're adding 1. Here we're adding 1. So this should be 72. This would be 92. And this would be 112. And here we would have... If this is 72, then this one here has to be 73. And this here has to be 83. And you'll notice that there are patterns to this chart, even though it's not like a number, a, re, a normal number grid. There are patterns to it. And uh, you can see right away that it's we're looking at the ones digits. They're 1, 2, 3, 4, going down. Seventy-three, eighty-three, ninety-three, one hundred three, one hundred thirteen. So you can do these either going uh, counting by tens going across, or by ones going down. Here we have seventy-four, so it's eighty-four, ninety-four, one hundred four. And then here we can see we don't have the first one. We could go backwards 10 from here, or we could add 1 going down from 74 and know that it's 75. 85, 95, 105, 115. 76, 86. Here's 96, 106, 116. And now this row is going to be all 7s. 77, 87, 97, 107, 117. And this row will be all 8s. 78, 88, 98, 108, 118. 79, 89, 99, 109. 119, and then we have the tens 80, 90, 100, 110, and here's our 120. So if we zoom out, we can see the whole grid, and now maybe it'll make a little more sense to you. You can see this goes 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90 and so on, all the way to 120 at the end. Now we're working on more sequencing. Write the numbers to continue the counting sequence to 120. And we've just given two numbers here to tell so the numbers are getting larger from 99 to 101. And in between 99 and 101, there's only one number that can fit there. 100, so we're counting by ones. Now this might seem really easy, and maybe it is. You're going to be sitting down the whole time you're doing it. 
no heavy lifting involved. However, it can be really easy to accidentally skip a number and not even know it. It's surprisingly easy. It happens a lot. And so one way you can tell if you've made that mistake is when you get to the end, if you had a number higher than 120, you skipped a number somewhere in between. If you get to a number that's less than 120, well, you might have written the same number down twice. It might help to say the numbers out loud as you write them. And that way, when you... Sometimes it helps to just instead, if you can't see a mistake that you're making, sometimes you can hear it. So if you say the numbers out loud, as I say over and over again in the homework videos here, it, it really helps. 118, 119, 120. Circle the sequence that is incorrect. Rewrite it correctly on the line. So here's the line. And let's see, we have, say it out loud, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. That one seems okay. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 110. It switched from counting by ones to adding, it went up by 10 all at once here on the end here. So that one is the one that's incorrect. So I'm going to circle that one and rewrite it correctly on the line. It should be 96. 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. Sometimes it can be confusing to see those ones and zeros and you're not sure where to put the ones and where to put the zeros. And that can look, you might think that that's 100, you might think that that's 101 or 110 or whatever it's supposed to come next, but it, that's 110. And this is 101. And think about this in, in, uh, in, in place value. If you put this in a place value chart, you'd have hundreds, tens, and ones. And here's 100. It's 100, 0, tens, and 0, ones. And if I add a 1 to it, I'm not going to have one more 10, right? I'm going to have... I'm going to have one more one. So I'm still going to have zero tens, but I'll have one more one. I'll have one one. So it should look like that. I hope that helps. Fill in the missing numbers in the sequence. So here we see 113, 114. We're counting by ones and they're getting larger. So it should be 115 goes next. 116, 117. It can really help to say these numbers out loud. And here we just have this one number at the end, 120, so we're counting backwards, really. So what comes right before 120? Let's say it's 119, 118, 117. And let's just keep counting by ones. So here's 102. What would come next? 103, 104, 105. And don't forget, all of these numbers in any, in, in any sequence you want, they're all on the first page in that number grid. So if you have one-sided pages, you can have this side-by-side -side while you're doing the second page, and you can just reference it to see what number should go where. That can really help, too. 88, 89, 90, 91. 92, 93, 